for you in here. Uh, today we're going to kind of start something new while well, it's still going to be horror games. Uh, this indie developer is named Varun Ramesh, so... Uh, well, it depends kind of on the success of this game, but if I really enjoy this game, he has five games out. Or she, I think it's a he though. He has five games out, and we're going to play all of them and kind of look at the sh overall strengths and weaknesses are really opportunities for a better game development in the future for this indie developer and moving forward I'm going to try to do this with as many uh, indie developers as possible because what better way uh, to understand game design in the indie community than to analyze you know collections of games by single developers and then kind of look across the horror genre is what I'm going to mainly focus on look across that genre and see what everybody's doing uh, where uh, games seem to be going, like what direction. For example, uh, Arthur's Nightmare might actually take off as a pretty good game. Not necessarily if it's super well developed or not, but because, as one of the YouTubers I follow noted, we're kind of in this era of uh, mascot horror, horror. So, like, Baldi's Basics took off because Baldi is a mascot. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, Freddy is the mascot. Arthur, Arthur's Nightmare. It's the main character of a TV show, and I'm, while I'm not looking forward to seeing my childhood corrupted right before my eyes, it's happened before with different shows. So, let's get started. Also, I got this off of itch.io, so uh, we can download that, or I'll leave the link so you can download that if you want. You want to picture show us your This is an interesting intro. Arthur Fan598 at Gmail. Man, the new animation is so bad. It's lazy. Okay. Um, night one of four. Oh no, night one of four. This is going to be like a Five Nights at Freddy's. I said I would play those type of games. Collect all the woogles and get out. Oh. Night one of four. Is this going to be like Five Nights at Freddy's? I'm not looking forward to it if it is. Okay. Searching. So we have one out of ten woogles. Oh, great. I don't even know what a woogle is. So are you supposed to collect things? Two woogles? We're supposed to search everything. I wonder if we're like DW or if we're Arthur or what we are. Or if we're Pal. I don't remember the Woogles in the show. That is not a reassuring animation. Uh, you can't leave without all the Woogles, so we know that that door is the entrance way. The it's nighttime at the at Arthur's house, and I don't remember the map of his his house. I'm sure that they'll have stuck to it as strongly as possible. Oh, I don't like the way that you're just shoved into the room because this is supposed to be scary. Okay, guys, so I already have been frightening myself, surprising no one. I thought there were two eyes in the distance. It was just two spots that are on my computer monitor. Restart, refresh, be soda. Okay. So we're supposed to collect Googles. Now, if night one is pretty tame, you can't die. And then everything starts being really scary afterwards. That da 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 is not reassuring, because well, if you get only so many chances. Oh no! Oh no! What is this? There's spikes in the room! Let me out! There's spikes everywhere! Oh my gosh! And the music's so loud! Oh. Can I get out? Or do I not? I don't think I have all of them. We're gonna die. Do you have a Google? We only 
have eight. And we have to go upstairs, don't we? Or can we... Oh, we can't go upstairs? Okay. Oh! This is such an uncomfortable noise. Why did it die down? can't live without all the woogles, so that's an exit too. Why can't I live without all the woogles? This is not going to benefit me. I'm going to die at this rate. Alright, so the sound has carried on long enough that... Well, I guess the ceiling is lowered. Now I'm starting to become desensitized to it. Search you. No. I don't really know what's going on here. Oh, so we click on the staircase to go up. Why did we move that fast? Duh. This sound effect is very impressive. Yeah, I'm squaying my eyes because I just. They even have the author font. It's like the ceiling going cave in on us once we get all the wiggles. Man, those spikes are close. This is very freaky. And the sound is oppressive. Like, very oppressive. I'm going to tone... I'm speaking a little louder than it. Okay, so I got all the wiggles. Now let's see what happens. Why are we running downstairs so quickly? Did we make it? We made it out of night one. Okay, that was very, like, my hands are sweating. I have left sweat on my computer. How gross is that? Use the detector to avoid Arthur. The detector has limited power. Okay, yep, Five Nights at Freddy's. Again, I said I would never do this because these type games freak me out. We'll see how far I get. Where is he? Den okay, so I am in the den and he is in the dining room. I think. We have two Woogles. So, DW's, he's in the hallway. He's in the hallway upstairs. Ooh, this is not good. This is not good. Uh, and controls are pretty standard for this. We're just clicking to obtain a woogle. He's in his room. Good. He's in the hallway. Why is he switching this quickly? I'm going to die at some point. Still in the hallway. This thing is dying way too quickly for me to be... I wonder if there's sound cues. I really hope there are sound cues for Arthur because I'm going to freak out. There should be sound cues and a way to hide. I know that's not the point of these games. Why do we why do we have to collect these woogles in there? So he's on the second floor. Alright. That's all I need to know right now. It has limited power. This has limited... What? But, like, the power seems to be very... It's gonna be all up on the stupid second floor, is he? Okay, he's not on the first floor. Alright, that's good. I can't leave without all the woogles. All the woogles. These woogles are gonna get killed. Okay. No, he's on the... He's in the entryway. I'm in the dining room. I'm headed right toward him. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh, no. In the foyer. I'm in the kitchen. There's no way. There's no way, guys. There's no way I can get... Oh, credit. Arthur's nightmare. It's not Arthur's nightmare. It's my nightmare. When I move, he's good. He's in the den. Alright, I'm dead, guys, so... I'm just gonna squint because it's not gonna be good. 
Now we have three noodles. Oh, I can't handle stuff like this. I let's just go for it. Can't leave without all the noodles. Well, let's head upstairs then. I don't know where he is. I have to squint my eyes because it's not going to be great. Of course, there's another one because I'm not getting out of this lion alive. Oh. He's going to just be here? Okay. I'm like, just so you know, if he appears, I'll see him because I'm very much squinting. But I can still see. Oh, crap. Now, now this part. part. Oh, oh, dear. Okay, this is gonna be my, my only playthrough because I can't, can't handle, handle it. it. I already can't. Can. Oh, oh, I didn't, didn't go, go into this. this. Last, Last time. time. I have yeah, seven noodles. Just breathe how cheery it is. Oh, here we go. go. I, I can't, can't avoid it. There's, there's no way out. Awful. You realize how awful this is? Yeah, yeah you, you do. do. That's, That's why you're happy. I think the mechanic is nice that you're searching, but it's also awful because I don't know what's around any corner. Please let, them, please let him not look terrifying. That's all I'm asking. Oh, I have to go in here. He's going to be in here, isn't he? I already, I already went, went in here. here. I, I risked, risked this move for nothing. nothing. Okay. okay. I, I think, think it'll be better after I've dealt with it once. But until that time, it's not, not going to be good. good. Sorry that I am, uh, my uh, comments, comments are suffering. suffering. It's because, because I am on edge. And I'm not even wearing one of my hats. hats. Crap, I'm only going, going into the rooms that are already been in. Okay. And, and then the sound is so loud. I can't leave all the stupid woogles. Oh. Oh. oh! Okay, I need two more probably. And the video capture thing is even covering. Uh. Last room. Maybe I can get all woogles before I die. That was probably not intended. Okay, I don't know where to go. Well, it's gonna be around this door. I'm literally just assuming it's around every door, so when I get freaked out. Oh, he's gonna be here. He's gonna be here. He's gonna be here. He has to be here. Where? Where is the last Google? There's no excuse for this. Guys, yeah, if, if I, I die, die this time it's gonna be embarrassing. Just because I, I will die. die. I don't know. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, this is really loud. Oh, oh great! Now I have, have to see that, that pitch matching. matching. Okay, so that's a, we can, I'm missing a room, and I don't know what room it is. It's not even going to matter now. I don't, don't know where the last wheel is, so I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Sorry, I am a musician, so matching the pitch was just irresistible after a few times. Okay. Do I have to go upstairs again? See, now I'm just like... I'm done, because there's no way I can avoid Arthur at this point. 
I have gone in a circle. Did I go straight ahead? No, because that's great. He's gonna be up here. Okay, it happened once. I should be okay. Woo! I told you he was gonna be there. That was bad. All right, I'll be fine now. It's probably not gonna be as great of jump scares as that. So enjoy it while you have it. Now I'm just. All right. He is in the entryway. We are in the den. You know what? I said I'm gonna be fine, but now it's just like the unknown of when he's going to attack. Okay, he's in the dining room. Nice. Eventually, I get. I you know I'll get desensitized to where. I'm in the foyer. Well, that was a good thing. I'm just gonna have to go for it and hope he's not anywhere because I can't check every single time. Where is he? Living room. So we could go here. I don't quite. That's the exit. So he's not upstairs. And if he gets upstairs. With. Wait. If he's suddenly upstairs. I was gonna say. If he was suddenly upstairs. When I was literally at the stairs and didn't die, I was gonna be disappointed. All right. So we got the nerve-wracking, the first nerve-wracking experience out. He's on the uh, bottom floor. That's good. And we have three woogles. All right. Okay. So all that happens is Arthur shows up and is awful to you. So he's still on the bottom floor. That's good. up here. Is this the parents room? I don't know. It's not. It's the bathroom. <gasps> I accidentally left the thing on. No! I got so scared I left the thing on. Okay. He's on the first floor or he was. It doesn't matter now. I can't. I'm just annoyed because I probably would have been able to get through this night had I not gotten so scared I forgot to turn the thing off. Never mind. I'm running out of vocals again. Still made me jump, but I didn't scream, so there's that. I, the noise, the, the volume was very loud, so I'm gonna, I think I'm going to jump around to sleep. Boom! All right. I'm gonna try again. I want to get to the end of this. If I can keep my thinking brain on and not my like nervous brain, then it could be okay, but I doubt I'll be able to make it. So I'm gonna try it one more time. We're in the den, he's going to... They start him out right by us. I don't even know, guys. I might reach. See if I make the wrong. Okay, nope, nope. I can't do it. I'm just gonna stand still and let him get me. I'm just gonna wait. I'm still gonna jump. I'm gonna turn the sound down. No, it's not the sound buttons. Okay, and turn the sound down. I had to turn the sound down. I couldn't do it. I might be able to get through it without the sound, because that sound is very bad for me. Super sensitive sounds. Okay, we can't leave without all the woogles. Alright. Well, the woogles suck. I would happily leave without all the woogles. But once I die this time, I'd like to get through that too, but if I can't, it's okay, because I know that uh, this is just not my type of horror game. Play the Evil Within 2. I can play. Um, I can 
play like what was it? I know it was into Outlast. Yeah, I can even play Outlast. Even though I get terrified of that. Where is he? Oh, he's in the hallway. Okay, now he's in the parents' room. Now he's in the hallway. Now he's in DW's room. I don't know if I'll be able to sneak out. Watch him be in the parents' room again. Okay, see, I can't, I just can't do it. Can't handle it. Can't keep my eyes open, even with the sound down. I am a wreck. Now he's in the hallway. Okay, he went downstairs. If he's in the hallway, you know well. Is it at eight or six? I can't tell. Again, the game recording thing is over it, so. So he's not up here. The only place I haven't been able to go to is DW's room up here, so. Up here. Oh, I have. I have been able to go to WGN. Well, I'm out. I, I'm not great at resource management. So let's go. I'm just staring now at my mic, sadly, because I can't handle this. But hey, I made it 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Okay. Well, I can't get through night two. <laughs> that much is clear. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this game aside uh, for, you know, forever. Uh, probably not forever. For a little bit. And then I'm going to come back, start a new game, uh, and memorize the map better for night one. And then I'm going to try again and see if I can get through at least night two, hopefully nights three and four. Uh, I don't want to, but hey, this is pretty fun. So, hmm, I hope you enjoyed me uh, just like screaming like a little kid and not being able to contain my jumps. Uh, because I got freaked out and did not enjoy that. So, <laughs> this has been Arthur's Nightmare. Again, I'll leave a link in the description, but woo, it's um. It's, it's something. It's difficult. I think, um, Five Nights at Freddy's, like, you know, you have to have a really, really good, uh, mechanic in order to make it work. And I think, I know, I, I can't tell right now, but I completely, since I've been, the atmosphere is so good, I was so freaked out. Uh, but I think this has a solid mechanic because you have the sensor that is very, very, like, limited on power and then you have uh, the ability to move from room to room so I think that is a strength being able to mo move from room to room and not be uh, confined into one static position uh, and that adds to the horror element I still think though just based on what I've managed to get through uh, there's two improvements I can see so on that crescendoing uh, Pitch. Well, it's great for building uh, tension uh, and just, you know, communicating that oppressive atmosphere. I think uh, the loop could be smoother because after it gets to that highest point and starts over, like, highest point, then it'll, it loops flaw seamlessly for, like, two uh, rotations. And then, like, you can hear the, the track kind of reset. And that does break it a little bit because I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, and I was able to ignore it even when I was like freaked out by <sighs> Arthur potentially appearing. And then the second thing is I would give an audio clue for Arthur. So uh, I wouldn't. I would. I don't think yet that I would uh, give the capability for the player to hide. But I would give an audio cue that gives them like two seconds to get to a door as long as it's the right door to uh, uh, get into a room to safety. Uh, that's what I would do because that sensor is very limited and it's a little too limited to be able to make it through the night, I think. I, that's just what I um, have discovered. I'm not the, I'm, 
I uh, am not, this is not my strength when it comes to horror games, is playing uh, this type of resource management. Uh, so maybe other people will play it and it's long enough, but whew, it was not long enough for me. So those are the two things I would work on, uh, but it's very effective. Uh, a very effective atmosphere of oppression once you get to like the six woogles I think it was uh, that is very good and it adds to the atmosphere and then uh, I, uh, the accompanying sound with Arthur is loud enough to startle you even if that pitch is at its highest volume so the Arthur's appearances is very good obviously I never got accustomed to it but I will again I will try to play this uh, and complete it um, or at least get to partly through night three. I don't know if I'll ever be able to finish the game because of me. But I'm going to take just take some time from it. Spent 20 minutes, which is longer than I did with Five Nights at Freddy's. I think I spent three nights with Five Nights, nights at Freddy's. But, woo, it helped that I didn't know I was getting into <laughs> uh, for this game. Oh, I do like, I want to say, I do like that first level, how that first night get you accustomed to the change in atmosphere where everything goes red and there's a blood stain on all the walls basically and then that pitch. I do like how it gets you accustomed to that so that when uh, the, in the second level it's like hey you can detect Arthur. Avoid him. Uh, you're not s still getting acclimated to that oppressive atmosphere and it's definitely in the background but it's still keeping the pressure on and creating intensity. I like that. I like how the design was intentional to where the oppressiveness of that atmosphere does not prevent you from being able to play the game and like makes you an even easier target for Arthur. But yeah, uh, childhood corrupted uh, just a little bit. Arthur killing his family potentially. I don't know if that's the story here. Uh, and killing you. Uh, but hey, I didn't survive the game, but I. I didn't survive the night, but I've survived the game so far, and I, whoo, I didn't pass out. That was the thing I was, ho I was hoping wouldn't happen, is passing out um, in the middle of a playthrough, because that would have been embarrassing. Alright, again, link will be in the description to download. I encourage you to check it out and post your own videos, especially if you get through it, because someone should get through it. Uh, that's of a braver nature than me. Uh, until next time, until next game, pray you. Yeah.